Hi, this is Dan. Welcome to my Dusker's Daily Challenge run for the 9th of June, 2017. Yeah, yesterday was a bloodbath. I mean, it was for me anyway. Um, I'm actually stunned that with the score of 230, I finished at uh, 13 out of 19. So congratulations to everybody who wound up in the top 10. I, Aside from LB, I didn't watch anybody else's runs because... <laughs> I was so embittered about how mine turned out that I just couldn't do it. Also, <clears throat> in the United States anyway, there were all sorts of crazy things that I was paying more attention to today. I will get back and watch them. Also, thank you so much, LB and Marvin especially, for um, for the feedback and suggestions you gave about my questions regarding audio settings and recording these. They helped a lot, as I think, you know, my sense is that you noticed. Anyway, that's all. Um, that's enough about yesterday. A little bit late here, but let's let's see what uh, today's daily challenge throws at us. Ooh, we have rewrap power and a ship surveyor and a not terribly large ship. We also have motion. Yay. Not always the most useful, but I do love me some motion, so. Okay, and Corey is our lead drone. We have 130, 130, 90, which, again, seems kind of high. Um, not yesterday, but the day before. I had 130, 130, 130, and that was ridiculous. I'm fairly sure I'm starting with a hit point advantage here. Um... And I suppose we should see. Oh, and it's a it's a weirdly tiny salvage a for infestation types. This is this ship is another death trap. Okay, good to know. I'm not going to enjoy this, am I? Anyway, come on, Corey. No. And we hear a swarm somewhere, but who the fuck knows where? It doesn't really matter. All four infestation types are active, so. And that does me no good at all. Great. Maybe there's a defense somewhere, but no, there's not. Okay. And that doesn't power useful rooms either. Well, shit. So we can't close the R7 door. And, uh, yeah. Well, let's see what we have with motion. Okay. There's already slime in here. Okay, D5. There is a defense, but I haven't found the chart that controls it yet. Time, okay. Beat the slime timer by just a little bit. Okay, that's that's good. And R3 or R7? Oh, okay. And that's, that's six minutes in, so that's fine. <sighs> okay. Not sure what we do next, but uh, I don't think I use motion in this room, so. <sighs> that gives me nothing. Okay. 
Then we use motion and... Yeah, I know, I know you're in there somewhere. So, now we use motion in... Really? Okay, we're gonna sit and watch this for a while. That would tell me that the swarm is probably in our three? Not helpful, but... You know, screw it, I don't know that I would be able to... This is not a big ship, but I'm not sure that I would be able to explore the whole thing. <clears throat> okay, there's something bad in there, so... I don't know why I tried to type motion there. It's late, I'm tired. That's probably why. Anyway. Okay, we're coming up in the four minute. Fine. So R5 is actually a clean room. So, and that doesn't help us at all, motherfucker. And that doesn't, oh, reroute, we have reroute, Jesus. Okay, um, reroute, what is it? R11, R5, R2. R11, R5, R2. Oh, and there is there is a drone with a shield in there. That's... We have a minute left, so hopefully something comes out of there. Or actually, it would be best if nothing comes out of there, because then we can just nip in there with Jill and grab whatever that drone is and get the fuck out. And it's wildly unwise, I know, to, to take too much time with this, but, um... Okay, D12, D14, Shit, 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 shit. Oh, and we're we're too late. The slime spawn. Maybe there wasn't one at six minutes. God damn it. <sighs> and where do we get the gas leak? Hopefully it's not in R2. I mean if it's in R2 it might actually be worth it to send okay, R8. R8 is lost to us, fine. And no slime spawned in here, so that's good too. Come on, come on, come on. Now we're a minute out from the asteroid strike, so lovely. Oh, so many timers, so many timers. This this sucks a little bit. And we don't have a generator that actually powers our radar or ten at this point. Hmm. 
Hmm. With Eternal in our four powers our six. Do we have a room that actually or a generator that actually powers our six? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, R3, I think that probably killed the slime, so... Alright. So what do we do now? Okay, that's just completely full now, so... Shit. Come on, come on. Yeah. Okay, there's no way we can clear that. There's no way we can check that terminal. Fine. Now we need to retreat to a safe space and think about this, I think. Also see what we've got. Yeah, we have one scrap and a salvage drone and two upgrades. That's not an acceptable level of swag, I don't think. So what do we do? R6 is scannable with um, with motion, so yeah, okay. I think we do that. I think we we use R6 to draw whatever BCs are hanging around. Seven. Now we can close D9. We can open D16. See if something goes in there. We've got a time crunch. Okay. D16. D. Shit. D5. Come on. Go in there and hang out with the slime, asshole. Whatever you are. Whatever or whoever you are. Okay, we still have 50 seconds, so come on. You know you want to go in there. You know you really, really do. Yes, you do. See, told you so. And we'll let slime spawn in here if we have to. There's another turret. That's some anyway. And maybe slime doesn't spawn in there. That would be nice. And there is a swarm now in our six time. Okay, we we beat the clock on that. <sighs> okay. Now let's Let's get rid of all the swarm anyway. We can't... R13 or D13 broke, that's fine. But, um... Actually, I think we're going to use a trap for this.
I don't know why I'm driving Chill around backwards, but I am. So... Okay, so we can kill whatever's in R9. Clock is ticking, but, um, trap, boom. Okay, and... Come on. Come on, Corey. You know, get with the program. Thank you. Okay, so R9 is clear, and we'll be able to clear R10 by using the trap again. I'm driving everybody backwards, so fine. Okay, and one. Really? That's incredibly annoying, guys. It is. Okay, um... <sighs> Crap, and, and because we're, we're still considering the slime timer, we need to... And this early. It's incredibly annoying, but um, time. But this is the safest way, and we've lost our three, we've lost our eight, but um, I'm actually hoping there might be uh, there might be scrap from a dead sentry in our seven. And maybe this generator in R10. Who knows? We'll see. Okay. Um, yeah. Really? Come on. Okay. Dock A2. And there is a trap in there, so, okay. Once whatever's in there gets in there, that will be a safe room for us. Come on. Well, once something gets in there, and then we blow it up. Come on. I know there's a moving beastie in there. I do. I know that, because the motion told me so. And we have a minute and change left. Wonder if that's where the leaper is. <sighs> oh, for fuck's sake, come on. So I need to call this at 1730, I think. This is cutting it tight. <sighs> oh, 
Okay, and... Fine. Okay, dock A2, because the corpse may appear in the boarding craft once I dock A2, because that's a vagary of... No. Motherfucker. So something moved in, in there and out of there, apparently, while I was waiting, and I didn't know it. No way to really test that, but... Um, so I have to do it again, which is what we're going to do. <clears throat> and the trap may very well break, but we're going to dock A1. Then we're going to wait for 20 minutes, which I realize is taking an absurdly long time for a ship this small, but better safe than dead. And I need to stop doing that because that's just obsessive behavior. Yeah, okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? No, I know, I know. Come on, Jeremy, get it out of the way. Where is this one gonna happen? Hopefully it's not R9 or R10 because I don't really actually care about the other rooms. Or R11 because I need that one as a basic staging area. Fuck. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, Doc A2. Something I discovered a while back, uh, which was interesting to me, was that. Sorry. I promise I'm going to finish that thought after I have things arranged to my liking. Okay. Um, one of the things I noticed a while back in a daily challenge run, I'm pretty sure, is that if you acti activated shield, dropped a trap, and then set off the trap, it would completely drain the shield, but your drone would be intact. We know there's nothing in R9, or we're fairly certain there's nothing in R9, unless there's a vent in there, in which case, well, fuck it. But we also know that there's still something in R10. I'm fairly certain that that is... It's either a leaper or it's a, um, it's a sentry. It's not a swarm. So we send Jill in there, have her drop a trap. If it's a leaper and it's on her, then we just trap boom instantly. If not, we just back out and uh, do it safely. It's dicey here, but... Um, we lost our 11, so we lost a 1 as a refuge. So. <sighs> and this stresses me out because I like this a lot better. I like Duskers a lot better as a not stealth. We don't have stealth. As a puzzle game than an action game. And this is one of these moments where it has to become an action game. So. Fuck it. Who? 
okay, but we, I think, probably a good choice that we didn't bother to see what the infestation types were. If there was a generator in there, it didn't get destroyed. I'm pretty sure there wasn't, so I'm pretty sure we're actually not getting into R9 either. But, um, yeah. Oh, and we got three scrap from it, so that's nice. Or we got three scrap that were lying around, and one of them, at least, was you. Well, that was the money room, anyway. <laughs> and then I suppose the last thing would be... And this is this is a risk reward scrap gamble, but um, drive Jeremy into R11, power up the generator, open D11, get the fuck out, and then uh, ooh, and then we can explore R9 at least. Then we'll only have lost two rooms instead of three, but we're probably going to take. 20 or 30 rads. So if there's two scrap in R9, or if there's a ship upgrade or something like that that we can salvage, or another drone perhaps, uh, that would be worthwhile. But there might be nothing in there. I mean, there's a generator, but there might not be anything else. The fact that I'm I'm actually docking back at um, A1 tells you something about my thinking, and and the fact that I just moved the shield over to Jeremy as well, which I believe will protect from radiation, tells you more about my thinking. Shields activated. Okay, we just drive in, we hit generator, we open D11. Then we get the fuck out. Close the door. Nothing is radiated besides the room that was already radiated. Oh, the shield's taking some damage, but. Um, Oh, and shit, and D11 didn't open because I couldn't... Oh my god, I'm a fucking moron. And that only powers three rooms. So... Oh, so we'd have to do that again. We didn't actually take much shield damage, so we could conceivably do that. But we need to open D6, D16, D9, and D11. And opening D6 would be problematic because there is a swarm moving back and forth there. Motherfucker. Okay, we're not going to do it. We're going to call it. Um, 130 and 130 is 260 and 90 is 350. Two th three? Is it 350? Yeah, 260 and 90 is 350. So starting score was 580. And we have a drone with two upgrades, which may have broken. So um, that's another 85, so that would be 665. And then, oh, we didn't get fuel either. So that's in R three, R eight, or R nine. We're not gonna, we're not gonna find that out. So who cares? Plus another two hundred from scrap. So eight sixty five. I think that's good enough for um, for a respectable standing anyway. And we're just gonna, like I say, 
it's not worth the risk. I really want to know what's in R9, and I would have liked to have known what was in R8 or R3 as well, but, um, you know, there are a bunch of other people who do the videos every day. Somebody will have, have gotten into those rooms, I would, I would think and hope. So hopefully I'll be able to see it on them. Anyway. Yeah, 865, respectable for a... This is a small, nasty ship. Yeah. Okay. Bunch of names I don't entirely recognize. Looks like Burning Ass Taco hasn't played yet, unless he finished with zero. Ash White, ouch. Not surprising this is a nasty ship, so... Better luck tomorrow. Not really interested in lower scores because I, you know, I can imagine variations on what happened. Um, jury rigged s 60 more points, so I'm assuming three more scrap. He didn't get more hit points than I did. I'd be very, very surprised. Um, my guess would be that he got into at least some of the rooms that I didn't, and he found the swag there. Astronomy Goon and LB. Unless there's a substantial variance in drone HP, um, my guess would be they both lost a drone. That's kind of what it looks like. Oh, and I didn't check to see if my... Uh, if the salvaged drone upgrades broke. I don't think either of them did, so I'm just going to assume that until I go back and watch my own video. Anyway, that was that was exciting. That was another not friendly ship. It's a little bit rude of Duskers, I think, that after like a week and change, it seems like of ships with one infestation type, now back to back they've thrown us badly damaged ships with four infestation types that are actually not all that large. Um, I was pretty wrong-footed yesterday for, for a variety of reasons, but one of them being that I hadn't run one of those in a while, and it's a different set of stuff that you need to do when, um, when all of the nasty is on board and the ship is going to break around you if you take too much time. But I'm, I'm, I think I acquitted myself well today. So I'm, I, I can live with that. Congratulations, jury rigged. You may very well hold the top spot and that would be awesome because it's always a pleasure to lose to you. And, um, yeah, and that's all for now. Um, if you want to watch the other folks who record their daily runs, check my video description. You'll find links to the daily run playlists for Marvin, Copper, Jury Rigged, LB, and Knox Skitney. Um, Knock, I think, is away for some period of time because he's on vacation, and that's awesome. I hope he's having a good time, but I'm going to continue to mention it because he'll be back and he'll start recording again, and we don't want to forget about him in the meantime. Anyway, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Pleasure is always, well, I mean, it was less of a pleasure yesterday, but it is always a pleasure, and thanks, and see you tomorrow. Bye.